Hey guys, welcome to another lecture and another question. So we'll be dealing with a couple of questions today. The first one from percentages. A student who secures 20% marks in an examination fails by 30 marks. 20% marks are and 30 marks are failed. Another student who secures 32% gets 42 marks more than those required to pass. Okay. The percentage of marks required to pass is kafi kam percentage head lag hai <laughs> required to pass. Let's see. So, given information kya kya hai? So, ek jan aapke 20% marks hai hai bas and fails by 30 marks. Or ek ke इसका मतलब 30 कम है पासी मार्क्स से बेसिकली ओके okay? एक के 42 ज्यादा है पासी मार्क्स से एंड दिस पर्सन हैज जस्ट गॉट 32% मार्क्स एंड ही इज गॉट मोर फ्रॉम यू नो व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पास उससे 42 मार्क्स ज्यादा है ओके तो इसका मतलब भी सारी कहानी इतके घूम रही है पासिंग मार्क्स से, so let's assume that. तो so, इसको करने का एक आसान तरीका क्या हो सकता है? Let's assume our total marks. So let x be the total marks. Total marks जितने का पेपर है, okay? So हमें क्या पता लगा है कि जो पासिंग मार्क्स हैं पहली इनफॉरमेशन से पासिंग मार्क्स आई एम गेटिंग टू नो कि 20% ऑफ x 20% ऑफ x जिसका आ रहा है वो 30 मार्क्स से फेल हो गया दैट इज पासिंग मार्क्स जो है मस्ट बी 20% ऑफ x प्लस 30 क्योंकि 30 मार्क्स से फेल हुआ है ना राइट एंड आल्सो दूसरी इनफॉरमेशन से पता लग रहा है पासिंग मार्क्स पासिंग मार्क्स क्या है एक जनाब है उनके 32% मार्क्स आए हैं 32% ऑफ द टोटल मार्क्स x और वो 42 मार्क्स से पास हुए हैं मतलब 42 मार्क्स उनके ज्यादा आए हैं पासिंग मार्क्स से सो दैट मींस पासिंग मार्क्स आर 32% ऑफ x 42 नाउ पासिंग मार्क्स तो एक ही रहेगा सो वी कैन इक्वेट दीस टू सो लेट्स जस्ट इक्वेट सो 20 upon 100 x plus 30 शुड बी इक्वल टू अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन because passing marks the same hi rahenge na 32 upon 100 of x minus 42 bas isko solve karenge dekhte hain kya aata hai hamara total marks so our um, 100 100 cancels off so you have 20x here plus 30 plus 42 is equal to 32x minus 4200 then lcm liya basically many 100 cancel ho gaya and let's take everything here you know x on one side the numbers on the other side so you'll get 7200 here and 32 minus 20 will give you 12x here so that means x is equal to 7200 upon 12 that is, it is equal to, it would be 600. So, 600 is your total marks. So, passing marks clearly will be, passing percentage we have to uh, figure out. Let's figure that out. So, passing percentage is either of the thing, you know, either of the two things you can pick up. So, if I take 20% of X plus 30 as my passing marks, then that means we are talking about 20 upon 100 into 600 plus 30. And that gives us 120 plus 30, that is 150. 150 marks out of 600 are required. So passing percentage is 150 upon 600 into 100. And that's going to be, 
this cancels 150 upon 6 is 25 percent so what are your passing marks the passing marks are 25 percent passing percentage not marks passing percentage is 25 percent that is b so that was one question let's take another question from percentages only for our quick revision of the topic the population of a village is 4500 five ninth of them are males and rest are females if 40% of the males are married, then the percentage of married female is. If you notice, percentages ke questions to him, they're quite like uh, just a probability ke questions. Hote hai, so it's quite like that. Uh, so married female ka percentage. Ne hai. Okay, so what do we have? The information is that five ninth, five by nine of them are males. So total 4,500 hai. 4500 total. Males, how many Male, how many are you? 5 by 9 into 4500. So that gives us 2500, right? Thick. So that means females, how many are Clearly, total 4500. So females are 4500 minus 2500. That means 2,000. 2,000 females are there. Now, married fe married males ke liye kya diya hua? Information is for married males. 40% of the males are married. 40%. So, married males ka percentage hai 40%. So, number of married males ho gai. How many? 40 upon 100 into 2,500. So that means we have thousand, thousand married uh, males. Uh, assuming male and female are getting married, okay? So married females, kitne ho gai? Married females, thousand ho gai. Okay? So Assuming we are only dealing with these 4,500 people, okay? So, marriages are among them only, okay? That's the data. So, 1,000 females are okay, married, right? So, 1,000 females, are, we need percentage. Percentage ke terms, what will happen? 1,000 upon how many are there? 2,000. So, 1,000 upon 2,000 in terms of percentage would be 50%. So if 40% of the males are married, actually 50% of the females are married in that population according to the data. So C would be the correct answer. That's it for me uh, today. I think uh, percentages, any question that you get, just look into the data. They're quite like probability questions. Just usi ko suljhate jaiye jo data given hai. And everything has to be written in terms of percentages in if it is a question from percentages. I hope this will help in revision. Thank you so very much.